When the James Webb Space Telescope was launched, the expectation was that it would sharpen our understanding of the cosmos. What few anticipated was that it would instead unravel our assumptions and confront us with enigmas that seemed to mock the very foundations of physics. In the hidden depths of the early universe, Webb has revealed something extraordinary. These mysterious entities are too small to be galaxies, too energetic to be stars, and too red to resemble anything we have ever observed before. For decades they escaped detection, invisible to every telescope until Webb's unmatched infrared vision exposed them. Scientists have given them a simple name, little red dots, but the truth of what they are remains one of the great mysteries of modern astronomy. Some researchers think they may represent the missing link between the universe's first galaxies and the monstrous supermassive black holes that now anchor them. Others suggest they might be even stranger, the last embers of a cosmic age governed by rules we no longer understand. What makes the discovery so unsettling is how familiar this sense of bewilderment feels. Nearly 70 years ago, astronomers encountered a similar puzzle when they stumbled upon an object called 3C273. At first it looked like an ordinary star, but it emitted energy across an impossible range of wavelengths. Its light signatures refused to match any known pattern, and it flickered in ways that defied explanation. These puzzling objects were soon called quasars, quasi-stellar, bodies that were far brighter than any galaxy and yet smaller than our solar system. It took decades of investigation before astronomers realized that quasars were powered by supermassive black holes devouring surrounding matter at unimaginable speeds. Now the James Webb Telescope has pulled us back into that same place of uncertainty. In its deep observations, Webb has uncovered hundreds of new anomalies. They resemble quasars in some ways, but they break too many rules to be placed in the same category. They are smaller, dimmer, heavily cloaked in dust, and detectable only in infrared. These new entities seem to echo the quasars of the past while refusing to fit within any established box. Hints of their existence first came from the Subaru Telescope in Japan, where they were catalogued as faint cosmic smudges and later called shelkas, short for Subaru High Z exploration of low luminosity quasars. Initially, they were thought to be nothing more than dim galaxies in the distance. Yet their light was far too powerful for their size and far too red to be explained by distance alone. When Webb turned its gaze on them, the truth began to emerge. These objects were not just faint and dusty, they were buried under suffocating clouds of molecular matter. Inside, gases swirled at immense speeds, moving far too fast to be explained by ordinary stars or galaxies. Only the pull of black holes could explain such velocity. But these black holes themselves were anomalies, residing in galaxies far too small, radiating in strange patterns, and hidden beneath thick veils of cosmic dust. As astronomers studied the web data, an intriguing connection began to appear. The Shelkas shared many characteristics with the mysterious little red dots that showed up in Webb's earliest deep field images. These dots were compact, hyperluminous, coated in dust, and visible only in infrared. Even stranger, they existed only within a very narrow cosmic window, between 600 million and 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang. Before that time and after it, they vanished. What could appear for a billion years and then disappear completely? Closer analysis of their spectra provided even more surprises. They did not resemble galaxies in any conventional sense, nor did they behave like quasars. Instead, they seemed to be active galactic nuclei of an entirely new class, black holes that grew far too quickly inside systems that were far too small, buried in extreme environments unlike anything seen today. Some scientists think these red dots may be the embryonic ancestors of modern quasars. Others suspect they may represent a failed evolutionary pathway in black hole formation, cosmic experiments that began and ended in the early universe. 
And there is an even more unsettling possibility that they are the remnants of a time when the universe itself obeyed different rules, and we are now glimpsing faint echoes of that alien era through Webb's sensitive eyes. Perhaps the most disturbing clue is what these objects don't show us. Despite appearing to be powered by black holes, many of them emit no detectable X-rays. Traditionally, this would have been strong evidence against the black hole theory, since active galactic nuclei are expected to blast out enormous amounts of high-energy radiation. But a new explanation has emerged. The dust shrouding these objects may be so thick and dense that it swallows the X-rays entirely, trapping the most violent energy inside and allowing only faint red light to escape. If true, this means we have missed entire populations of black holes in the early universe, not hidden by distance but by dust itself. This would imply that supermassive black holes were even more common in the infant universe than anyone imagined. If the little red dots and shelkus are connected, we may have uncovered a previously unknown stage in the life cycle of galaxies and black holes. But if they are unrelated, then Webb may have revealed an entirely new category of cosmic object, one that challenges our deepest understanding of matter, light, and time. The final clue may come from their light itself. When scientists examined the chemical fingerprints hidden in their spectra, they found patterns unlike anything known. Where we would normally see the familiar signatures of hydrogen, helium, carbon, or oxygen, the spectral lines were too wide, too shifted, or simply unidentifiable. This is not just a matter of redshift caused by cosmic expansion. Some of the spectral lines from these mysterious objects suggest ionization levels so extreme that no star could possibly produce them. Others behave erratically, flickering in and out as if driven by unstable chemistry under unimaginable conditions. The implication is unnerving. Either these entities are composed of materials completely unknown to science, or the laws of physics themselves act differently in the immense pressure and density of their compact environments. It is as though the young universe forged objects that are not only structurally impossible today but composed of substances that could not exist under the rules we now know. Another anomaly soon emerged, faint but unmistakable. Some of these objects appear to fluctuate in brightness with eerie precision, not due to stellar activity or spinning dust but because of something deeper, a gravitational rhythm. These pulses are so regular that physicists have begun to study them as cosmic beats, possibly tied to matter orbiting a dense central core. One idea suggests we may be watching matter spiral into a black hole in rhythmic intervals, releasing flashes of light and gravity. Another possibility is that these are echoes, resonances from an earlier era of the universe, still rippling through space-time and amplified by the extreme density of these enigmatic structures. If so, what Webb is detecting may not just be light, but ancient records of events that took place in a version of the universe long since vanished. This behavior doesn't just complicate existing models, it destabilizes them. If gravity itself can pulse in harmony with forces we don't yet recognize, then an entire chapter of cosmic mechanics is missing from our knowledge. What makes the revelation even more staggering is that these impossible objects may not be rare at all. Scientists now suspect that the little red dots, shelkus, and other dusty active nuclei may number in the millions, or even billions, scattered across the universe, hiding just beyond the limits of visible light. Webb has shown that these anomalies are not randomly scattered. Instead, they form clusters and filaments resembling the large-scale cosmic web seen in simulations of galaxy formation. Unlike normal galaxies, however, they are more compact, more volatile, and far more radiant in the infrared spectrum. This has led some to theorize that they may represent the very first organized structures of the cosmos, the scaffolding upon which galaxies were later built. Yet if that is true, why do we not see their descendants today? Did they merge with primitive galaxies, evolve into something else, or collapse in ways that erased them completely from existence? 
Perhaps the most unsettling idea to arise from this discovery is that the very constants of nature may not have been constant in the universe's earliest days. What if gravity, electromagnetism, or even quantum processes behaved differently before the cosmos settled into stability? The little red dots and shelkis may be remnants of that strange epoch, relics from a time when the fabric of reality was still crystallizing into order. Some theorists even suggest they could represent phase transitions in spacetime itself, like fossils from an era when the laws of physics were still taking shape. If so, James Webb has not just found strange objects. It may have uncovered proof that the universe itself evolved not only in matter and structure, but in laws and principles. These anomalies would then be the lingering scars of a universe that no longer exists. This possibility is profoundly humbling. In a cosmos we believe to be ruled by order and predictable equations, Webb has revealed objects that defy those very rules. These faint, dusty anomalies are not just distant curiosities, they are warnings. They tell us that the early universe was far more chaotic, violent, and alien than our neat models suggest. The timelines we constructed for galaxy formation, black hole growth, and cosmic evolution are being shredded by entities that should not exist. Too dense, too fast, too powerful, these objects are the wreckage of our assumptions. The most haunting question remains unanswered. What exactly are they? Are they the missing bridge between stars and quasars, echoes of physics now forgotten, or phenomena so alien that we lack even the language to describe them? The James Webb Space Telescope has not only expanded our vision of the universe, it has exposed the vast depth of our ignorance. And in the silence of those impossible red dots, the cosmos seems to whisper a chilling truth. You do not know me yet.